Hello, 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 great viewers of my time. You are welcome to Bless Biafra Network, a bar no winging network where you can get an authentic news and the great news that you are looking for. Do not think we are joking here. Come to Bless Biafra Network right now. You will see what is happening. This is what we are talking about. It's one of the best. I'm talking about the best. What are we going to show you right now? Something new. Check it out. The headline says Don't take Nande Kalu Eastern Security Network for granted. General T. Y. Danjuma warns Brutai. Now, before I go on with the news in detail, I will not hesitate to say please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we we'll have news or video for you and also the red subscribe button is very important. Now, in detail, General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma has reportedly warned Brutai never to take the Eastern Security Network created by Mazen Nande Kalo for granted. A social media user who shared the post wrote, General Teoflus Jakub Danjuma sent special warning to Brutai never to take Eastern Security Network formed by IPOB leader Mazen Nande Kalo for granted. According to him, he said, I was once a general in the Nigeria army. The most dangerous and deadly soldiers in this world is voluntary soldiers. They are like measles and virus. They can never retreat from the war front until victory or dialogue is given to them. Because they are fighting with their heart voluntarily. Thank you. Well, that was T.Y. Danjuma warning Brutai. I don't even know what is strong with this Brutai. We have told him to stay away from Eastern Security Service Network. We have told him to stay away from Eastern Security Network because they are not here for him, the police. They are not here for their soldiers. They are only here to protect our land. To, to protect our mothers, our fathers, our sisters from being killed. To protect them from being raped. You and I know that Flanny raped both two years old Pekin. And that is not the type of thing we want in our land. Since they claim that those people are coming from Gambi, some of them are coming from Niger, some of them are coming from Libya. Even their president said that he uh, is Gaddafi boys. I just wonder how Gaddafi that died so many years ago, his boys are now coming to Nigeria, Tibo land to met people. If they are not something they are hiding, why are they stopping their friends for a very long time? And why are they trying to stop ESN now? Like we said before. They should leave us alone. They should respect themselves. Anybody that knows Bruta should tell him to respect himself. He should continue going after those kidnapping people in the north. That the, the they are terrorists. They are people because they are the terrorists. Even the government house now is a terrorist government house. So the more reason they should stay away from us. We have to fight our fight on our own. They have been in our land for a very long time, claiming that they are fighting. Uh, because there's no book in our land fighting Fulani men, but nothing like that rather they are planning trooping people with our land every day by day staying in our bushes trying to run us down they think we don't know that when Tiwa Danima said it he was not missing words he said that they collude with the Nigerian forces collude with bandit. In other words, bandit he meant was full and hand men. There's nothing like bandit. It was full and hand men. That was what he meant. They collude with them. They shared them. They brought them to our land to massacre our people. And they pretend that they are there to chase them out rather whereas what they are doing is 
blocking away for us not to see that they are there and they are some of them are actually coming we know those things that is more reason why we are telling him to respect himself are you possible take his so-called roadblock out from our land he has been there for a very long time no what is happening in our land apart from the flying him and tomating us and we the vigilantes the eastern security network can be able to take care of that since ever since they have been there they have not do any done anything rather the same sacrilege and the audacity of killing is still happening in our land modern our brothers our sisters our mothers raping them even before they kill them upon that these governors that call themselves governors have nothing else. that to show you that they are all charmed they are no longer with their senses so i wonder how a man who is no longer with senses will be leading people that that is in their senses they will might have to as a matter of fact resign as a governor okay see as a matter of fact resign as governor if i go as the matter of fact should resign as governor even obi anosha matter of fact resign as a governor since all of them have not said anything ever since this secret outfit was created they keep nude because they are full of any sacrifice they are still any slave we cannot allow for any slave to continue to be in government house in our land but if they want to be there they have to do the right thing we waited them for a very long time to establish a secret outfit they refuse to do that because they are all brokers even Yoruba governors did it with their brothers and sisters they came together a plan they did it but then the have been shot for a very long time for how many years now and these people have refused to establish a security network for us that will protect our mothers from their farms that will protect our sister from rape that will protect our brothers from killing but at the same time nigerian same Boko Haram soldiers they brought to our land because believe me or not you have to take it that way all the whole soldiers living in our land they are all Boko Haram. there's no single good soldier among them in our land and that is why they will come and kill innocent people innocent civilians whereas their land is full of shit the north is full of shit Boko Haram rampaging everywhere bandits taking their, their flying bandits killing people innocent people everywhere look at how many people they murdered in the farm in the in the northeast is it not a shame that a man that calls himself a president has nothing to offer us? That's why when I look at Gulag, not Allah, I will laugh. He was here 2015. That man that calls himself good luck, who respected him so much, who make sure many sacrifices to make sure he went as a rock. But he came out with a, with his shame. I'm not trying to sort him here. Assuming he he do half of what Buhari or Jubri is doing now, believe me, Nigeria would have be a better place. Biafra would have be safe. But he did not do anyone. Come on, convoy. Convoy. Jonathan did not complete convoy. Him and that stupid woman that calls himself a snare president. They are shame. How can a evil man be a snare president? And their neighboring brother, Gulag Jonathan, a president upon that come on to make a constitution for the country they did not look at what only buhari is doing every man on top is buhari brother every man on top t his debt t debt even the so-called issue that is there now the same thing all people he's employing there in asorok is his brothers his late brother, brother so that they will occupy everywhere but believe me they will not succeed because god is with us more is what i have to stand on amazon and the carlo for all those men that are ranting all those dss created men those because there's nothing like that which chief is living in abuja any chief that is not living in his land is not a chief we are tired of all this whole nonsense we have come together and stand by this group it's not a security network. It's our choice. We created it. The only man we trust, we have tested and trust, created it. And we love it that way. 
is if the Igbo governors like they should go ahead and not it in the law in the eastern, eastern region but if they don't like that is their own cup of tea but time shall come when they will pay for everything that I have swallowed because we cannot stay here and we'll allow them to bring people to come and come us every day by day and we'll keep quiet and brutal we have told you stay away from eastern security network we are not after you or after your soldiers or after police we are after the criminals that have bandit that are rampaging our land unless you want of course tell us that you are the bandit and you are the one that created the bandit because you told us from the beginning that they are from not from nigeria but if they are from nigeria might be their own family living with us then take them back take them out from our bushes so that peace will end we are just telling you gentlemen and ladies we have to try a way to make sure we we'll give happy hand to our brothers Eastern security network through the right source like i said and the right source must be not the color whatever it is you tell us we'll do that so that they will be well protected they will be well fed it's true that they are volunteers but don't forget volunteers can always come out with their heart their full heart they never surrender and the more is the world have to make sure that we take care of them good care of them very well make sure they don't lack anything and god almighty chuko kabiyama will bless all of us and all of us all and bless them too he say he say and also bless my husband and the carlo he say he say he say he say thank you so much guys for listening i will say please share this and drop your comment in the comment section please i beg you share it so that people get it thank you so much may god bless you all cheers au revoir